You are listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, this is I Am Refocused Radio. Man, we are here once again. And this is an awesome episode for y'all today because it's a bonus show. Like I told you all, if you have been listening to us on 9.30 a.m., The Answer Radio Station, I've been saying that we're going to be having some bonus shows. Well, here you go. We're kicking off with some more right now. Today, we have an awesome guest on the show, Mr. Jeremy Parsons. Man, he's a music artist. And I just want to say right now, Welcome to Iron Refocus Radio. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man, and I'm uh, I'm I'm really delighted to be here. Thanks awesome. for having me on. Yes, sir. So, man, tell the audience a little bit about Jeremy, man. Well, I'm uh, I'm from uh, San Antonio, Texas, originally, which is uh, it's always fun because uh, it's uh, I mean that's that's where it all really started for me. I got to cut my teeth in Texas and. As uh, as you and no, most people know, there's a uh, there's no short supply of uh, venues to uh, to hone your craft down there. So I, I came I came up down there, and then uh, around the age of 21, I decided to uh, put all my chips on the table and move to Nashville. And uh, I've been uh, bouncing back and forth between both states now for about 10 years. I've I've gotten to take my music and. Uh, and and the rest of me over to Europe. I played some shows in Norway, uh, played all over the U.S., South Dakota, Wyoming, New York, uh, Florida, yeah, just anywhere I can, California, everything. And uh, I've made two records in the process, and I'm, I'm currently working on my third. And uh, just put out a new music video for a song called uh, "Making Things Up As I Go," and it's being received well. And uh, that's uh that's that's probably the best fast forward biography version I can give you right there. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are listening once again, this is Iron Refocus Radio, man. We are nine thirty AM the answer on Sunday mornings and you're listening to a bonus show. So if you wanna know real quick, just a real quick plug in more about Jeremy Parsons, you can go to Jeremy Parsons Music dot com and there you can find all his great stuff with Spotify and all the amazing places you can find his music so man tell us when it comes to music man when did you get introduced to it officially like when did that light bulb come off and say you know what i can actually do this creatively and professionally dude that's awesome i was actually i had this word for word almost conversation with my buddy the other day we were we were down on the road in in july uh, down there, I would just played everywhere we could in Texas for a whole month. We'll be back in September, but it wasn't. It probably wasn't until I had graduated high school. Like I'd, I'd, I'd started. I picked up a guitar when I was seventeen. I started writing when I was eighteen, and it was probably. It probably wasn't until I was nineteen. I went and played an open mic at a place called Rolling Oak Sports Bar and Grill in San Antonio, Texas. And and I got up there and I was, you know, of course you're nervous anytime you do like something that you've enjoyed doing like by yourself and then you bring it out to public eyes and it's a totally different ball game. Um, but it, it wasn't until I played my first song and everyone just started yelling. They were like, hey, play another one. And they didn't do that with anyone else. Like it, it was a thing where it was like, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I got another one. I'll play another one. And then it was another one, and then another one, and then next thing you know, I'm playing like three hour sets at bars and stuff like that. Uh, so I would say a little later than most uh, people that I know, I, I would say, but it, it's uh, I would say it's 19 years old. Wow, that's what's up, man. When when you started to get out there in the crowd starting to really get to know jeremy how was that for you man because it's one thing when someone is like man let me try to make some music and put it out there but it's another thing when you get a positive response from the public so how how was that feeling for you when you started to make that brand watching that all come together is is it's it's kind of indescribable for for me and the the adrenaline rush uh Root is the only, honestly, like honest way that I can uh, 
consider like presenting that example because it's just it, it th- there's really nothing like that it's it's you're watching like all this hard work and everything that you put into you know what what a lot of people consider there's some people and i'm not i'm not saying everybody does this but you know as artists we hear from a lot of people that are like oh but what do you do for a real job yeah, yeah. And I'm like, hey, man, <laughs> right. first off, ouch, I got feelings, bro. Uh, but the, uh, you know, it's like, it's like, you know, that that is, I, I mean, for 10 years, I've been paying my bills with just music. Wow. So like when, when, when someone says that to you, it kind of, it kind of hurts your feelings in a very hyper, hyper personal way. Mm-hmm. So like to watch to watch some like a, a crowd like really just get that like you're up there doing your job and you're entertaining them like you know all those all that stuff that you had to hear to get to that point it's kind of it just like oh it's like all right this is like another badge man this is cool so it's it just like a compilation of feelings when it comes when it comes to that because it's it's just so many things aligning when you're on stage and the crowd's into it and you know people want to have you back for another show you know they're already excited and selling tickets you know it's 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 just unmatched when you have the opportunity to kind of sit back and reflect on your process thus far as a musician slash entrepreneur What's some of the things that you can say right now that you're very proud of? Oh man, both of both of my records uh, that I've made in this this third one that I'm making right now, like I'm I've never I've never put out music. You know, even when I go back and listen to the first record, I was so young and my writing's not you know as as molded as it as it has been but that's anybody you know you look back at you know pictures of yourself as a kid you're like man i was shorter (laughs) you know that's just the way it is uh but it's i I think i've I've never put out music that i i still don't like when i listen back to it i'm like oh man i still enjoy this like i get why i made this at a time like i've never done any like never i don't have anything like that out that i'm i'm not proud of and I, I don't. I don't think there's a lot of people that they can like confidently say that. But I've always released music that I believe in. All my music videos have been stuff that my my myself as a product. I think has been so consistent, and that's that's one thing that I see a lot of artists that that bothers me about artists. So I'm glad that I don't do it. You know, when, when you're when you're following somebody because you like a specific thing about them, and then they change that thing about themselves. Um, can, can, my consistency, I guess, is something I look back and I'm like, oh man, it just kind of worked out. But uh, heck yeah, <laughs> that's that's what's up because you you just finished a tour recently in July and I feel like I blinked two times and July's gone. We're already in August, so for you, always on the move, always building, you know, new product, new new content for your listeners. What what's some of the things that when you are planning, you know, as far as marketing yourself, what's some of the things that best practices? Because say there's uh, an artist out there who's listening to this episode uh, on Refocus Radio, and and they want some some action steps that they can take as a as a person listening to this episode. What's some of your best practice as far as building awareness for your songs when you release them? I think I think the 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 benefit that we have today as like artists and creators and entrepreneurs in general is is all of the uh, the social media outlets and I I know everyone talks about them but I mean there's a reason why everyone talks about them it's like we're plugged into people that we never would have been able to reach before so so when you're working on a product also work on the person that is going to be presenting the masses with that product so honestly like you 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 if you're funny like be funny on your social medias be funny at your shows like be the person that you are everywhere because that's what they want there it's almost like you are a product at first but then they then you become like friends or family with these people and they're they're intimately 
attached to the rest of your career because you're consistent. They're ne- they've never not seen you be that person that they fell in love with. Oh, so it's good. like just just brand yourself correctly and stick with your brand. I mean, we all like adapt and change over time. I'm not saying always be the same person, but at the core, there is someone very specific and unique under all of that, you know, the outfits that might change with time, you know, the hats that might come off. But there's someone in there that is always going to be that thing that draws people in. And you need to figure out what that is first and foremost. And then the rest of it's just easy. Man, when we look at this music video that you dropped about three weeks ago, making things up as I go. Tell us a little bit about that project, man, and and what inspired the the lyrics behind that song. That that song well I was I was dealing with a lot of like heavy stuff when I made uh, the things I need to say record like there was my my manager had passed away and I I and, and then since I <clears throat> parted with my management company because it was it just wasn't the same for me anymore my 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 parents got divorced and uh, like just my, my whole life kind of unraveled and that and that just that's a part of life like life happens um, but uh, you know, I was I was coping with that, and I noticed in the in the process of making this record, all of the songs were just so sad. And this was one thing that, like, my dad and I have always like, whenever we hang up on the phone, we even if the phone conversation is negative, we always try to end it positively. Like, whether we're saying like onward and upward, or you know, we're just all you know making things up as we go. You know, what are you gonna do? Taking it day to day. So I wanted to write that. Cause it's realistic, but it's it's still a beat. Like there, there's nothing about that song that um, that isn't actual. You know, actual. Like the, the, it's goofy and it's kind of uplifting. But you listen to the lyrics, it's like it. It's basically like we have zero control when you sit down and think about it. But what are you going to do about that? You can't let it stop you. It's like we've always had zero control. We still do our thing. We're just making it up as we go. I like that, man, because in the description, it, it, it talks about, you know, your imagination and how, you know, there's really no structure. It's really just have fun, be honest, transparency, and just really have a good time. And th- that's very... Yeah, it is. It's it's whatever... I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's my no, no, you good. No, I was just going to say, it's very important as an artist to have that kind of, that kind of flow in the artistry. Because sometimes we can limit our potential by limiting our creativity and being, you know, second guessing ourselves on pushing the limits, if you will. Yeah, and the and the, and the natural like happenstance of things, it, things is always what we found fascinating as people. Like when it's like, oh, that's weird how that happened. When you look back on something, and so it's just like in in the video when we were making that, I was like, dude, let's make just the goofiest most us video that we could possibly do it was just like let's just be ridiculous and get a green screen and i'll get some goofy outfits and we'll just we'll just have fun like let's let's make let's not make this work why would we want to do that (laughs) so i mean it was just so fun to make once again, you're listening to I Am Refocus Radio, and this is a bonus show, man. And if you want to listen to our regular programming, you can go to 930amtheanswer.com and find the local podcast shows, and you will find us right there in the program guide. Or you can listen to us Sunday mornings at 6 a.m. Once again, we are talking to Jeremy Parsons, and if you want more information on his music, that's jeremyparsons.com. Oops, excuse me. I'm going to add that out. JeremyParsonsMusic.com. Once again, that's JeremyParsonsMusic.com. And he is the guest on Iron Refocus Radio. Man, when you are in the process of building new content, because we touched on that, but when it comes to you being creative, how do you keep yourself loose and not inside that creator's block? Uh man, I th- I think that just like naturally happens sometimes. Like uh, like when when stuff gets heavy and it's 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 hard to it's hard to 
you know, focus on, I mean, because in life we, we tend to juggle. So it's like, I think you just have to accept that it's going to occur. And when it does, realize that you haven't lost anything. It's everything that was there is going to come back. You were just distracted. Cool. Like that, I mean, that's, and that's just a learning process. But, you know, I, I say that, I just said that out loud, and this is, you know, this, people are going to hear this and remember that I said this, but like, I still do it all the time. Like, I freak out when it goes to, it's just natural. You got to sit there and be like, wait a minute, you know, if that's how you handle things. So I tend to be one of those people that, that needs to, like, you know, freak out or vent about an issue in an appropriate manner, of course. But then, you know, that gets me through it. You know, it's like pushing the air out of a balloon, you know. Mm -hmm. I like how you said earlier in the in the interview how when you and your dad talk, even the conversation may not be a most, you know, pleasant conversation. You still end it in a positive note. That's very important because that goes down to relationships and relationships in and outside the music industry. It's just... Both are are important, you know, when when you're behind the scenes and when you're actually on stage. So for you, how have you tried to build your relationships as you move on with your music career? I think I I think I try to, uh, and this plays in a little bit to to what I said earlier about you know giving the people that person that they 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 first fell in love with. I think I think that that's what I do. Like I'm I you know my. I have I mean it's weird to call them fans because we're, we we keep in touch on Facebook and Instagram you know if I'm in if I'm in town like people let me stay at their place or you know if I'm doing a show like it, I I build them like their friendships um and it, and it and it's really nothing more than that it's just I and that's that's all I see in the crowd too it's just a bunch of my friends that have come out to hang out with us and like listen to music while we play it for them. Um, and I mean, I, I don't, I don't see, I don't see, I've never had any, uh, any reason to treat it any other way. And it's never posed a problem for me. It was like uh, bring, bringing the right people in close has never, has never been bad for anybody. And I mean, everyone who stay, I mean, like I've been doing this for t 10 years and there's like people that still come out, to shows like from from 10 years ago i mean from 12 years ago when i started in texas like there there's longevity when, when you just because i mean like the, the only the only difference between me and the person on the other side of the microphone is that they're on the other side of the microphone we're still all just people we're doing different things we're fueling the economy in our own way it's like i play music they listen to music while they're you know working in a cubicle or at a factory or something like that it's we're, we're all we're all just doing our thing i like how you broke that down because so many times you, you know uh fans can go crazy you know it's like oh my god you gotta sign this autograph i've been waiting for 10 hours in the rain you know and, and they get so attached to to the artists out there and like you're saying having that humanness is very important because at the end of the day, right? We all just people trying to live our best life. And that's a great segue to someone listening right now. Maybe they're a music artist or not a music artist. Based on your life experience thus far, building your dream, going after your dream, taking those actions consistently to where it brought you to where you are today. What words of encouragement would you give to someone out there who might be stuck? Like maybe they say, you know, I would like to be a, a artist or pick up this instrument, but maybe they slacked off and they got disencouraged because life happened or something. What would you tell that person right now? Dude, man, there's <laughs> this is always like one of those. It's a cliche line, but this is this is always true. And I think you realize it as you get older. I was like, if you think you're too old to play the guitar, then you know your age isn't holding you back. You're holding your back. Like the one thing that we have is people, and we don't even know how much we have. Another thing that we have zero control over is time. Yeah, like you always have time. If you want to play guitar, play guitar, man. Like, cause the, the longer you don't play a guitar, like 
the longer you're not playing the guitar. I mean, I don't know what else I could That's say. A good one. <laughs> That's a good one. That's really good. Like, and at some point, like you, you know, there's people that I, I hear people say stuff like that all the time. They're like, "Man, I, it's like I'm just mad because I could have done that if so and so." I was like, "When was the last time you saw so and so?" Like eight years ago. I was like, "Dude, at this point, it's your fault." <laughs> you yeah, know. That's good, man. <laughs> And nobody wants to, at the end of the day, have to sit there and blame themselves. That's just a, just another. It's a Jenga tower of inner struggle that doesn't need to exist. <laughs> man, that's good stuff, man. I mean, that. I I think if you, the listener, did not get anything out of this interview, if you just got that one part, man, I think you're gonna do well in life, because I like that line that you were saying about if you haven't played a guitar yet, you know. Is and you wonder why you can't play it? Well, it's because you're not playing. That that's that's very smart and very funny and is man like that's hilarious if you really truly think about it because you can apply that analogy in anything in life. Like if you want to be a doctor, or you want to be a lawyer because you know we always hear those lines whenever we talk about businesses or entrepreneurship. You know, dream big. You always hear those little cliche lines of you know kind of what you want to be when you grow up. But that's so true. If you don't do it like Nike, just do it. Well, you're kind of like just you're you're probably the problem. Like you're you're, you're not part of the solution. Yeah, that's the that is the that is the cold hard truth. But I mean, like at the end of the day, like that's that's what you're gonna have to face. So like you know, if you pick up a worst case scenario, you pick up a guitar and don't enjoy it. At least you say you tried. Like yeah. you know, that's that's a lot. Man, that that's the truth right there, man. Man, once again, we are here on Iron Refocus Radio talking to music artist Jeremy Parsons. And once again, you can listen to this show on ironrefocusradio.com. And on Sunday mornings, because this is a bonus show, you can listen to us 6 a.m. on 9.30 a.m. The Answer. In uh, Small World, 9.30 a.m. The Answer is in San Antonio, so it's a small world, man. What I like about this show is... It's the stories, the stories like yours. Uh, here you are. You, you find your passion. You find your purpose in life, and uh, you go for it. And like you said earlier, even if you go go for something and you don't enjoy it, at least you tried. And for you, going for your dream, what's the thing you see next for yourself? Because you're in your prime. You're you're doing it. You're living it. What's next for Jeremy? Oh man, I uh, I, I want to do more shows. I'd like to get back over to Europe. I'm 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 really 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 excited for this new record that I'm working on. Uh, it's going to be ten tracks. It'll be like a full uh, LP style record. Um, it's probably some it's it's some of my best writing to date, and uh, which it's always nice to like go into the studio and watch it all like unravel like that and realize that you haven't taken any steps backwards you just constantly grown and my guitar playing's gotten better so it's i'm 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 ready to 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 repackage and uh, redistribute myself as an artist as, and, and with this new music um and you know that that could be you know come anywhere from three months to a year but you know it's it's really nice to have something to look forward to and that the production process has just been so easy and fun uh so bringing this uh bringing this stuff to texas and having the chance maybe to hop back over overseas is always um is always really exciting so i mean that's as a as a teaser the the name of the the name of the project is is going to be things to come which is i guess perfect for this question you know it's like i'm i'm really stoked for things to come <laughs> Man, that, that that wasn't the most epic set way to that project i don't know what it is uh that, that's pretty good jamie man like I always say on the show, because it's always too short, but it's awesome because that's what keeps everyone listening. You, the listener, I want to say thank you so much for tuning into all these amazing stories. And if you want to listen to more stories like Jeremy Parsons, you can go to ionrefocusradio.com and we have an archive that you can listen. You know, it's a Netflix radio. You can just kind of binge listen to all these different shows and make sure you share with people uh, if you really enjoy the content. Once again, I want to 
say thank you to Jeremy as uh, we wrap up this episode and say appreciate what you're doing, sharing your art with the world and sharing some knowledge because that's what the show is about. It's just about everyday people who are living a dream and they did they didn't just thought about it. They went out and did something about it. So if you know someone out there who might be stuck or someone who needs a little boost, make sure you share this radio broadcast with them. I am Focus Radio. And before we let you go, Jeremy, we can reach you on jeremyparsonsmusic.com. But drop some social media handles if you don't mind. Okay, deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm always on Instagram. And uh, my Instagram handle is jmpickinfool. That's J M. P-I-C-K-I-N-F-O-O-L. And uh, the rest of the handles. My handle on Twitter is uh, J.M. Parsons Music. Um, and then uh, Facebook is, is Jeremy Parsons Music and Jeremy Parsons. You can find me all over the socials. Awesome, man. Once again, thank you, Jeremy, for being on the show. And like I said before, I'm going to say it again. This is Iron Focus Radio, and we appreciate we appreciate everybody who's tuning in and giving us some positive feedback on the show. We have more to come, more stories to come. So until next time, I want to say thank you, and don't forget this: every day is a new day, and as long as you keep going, that's all that really matters. So until next time, peace out. San Antonio? Need a barber? Visit our good friend, Rico Rodriguez, the owner of Rockefeller's Barbershop in San Antonio, Texas, 1733 Babcock Road, and book your appointment today by calling 210-782-5188.